Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Wednesday News Show. I'm Hugo Pilcher. I'm Matt Groom. You stole my opening line. You always do the intro. Yeah. So let's start off with some speed climbing uh, record news. Now the Coolant Ridge is this incredible line in the uh, on the Isle of Skye in Scotland, uh, and the speed record has been broken. Except there isn't really a speed record, but it sort of has been broken by using by Dave Us- Dean Hawthorne. Uh, not Dave McLeod. Not Dave McLeod, no. no. Uh, Usedine did it in four hours, 57 minutes and seven seconds, beating the previous record of six hours. This stunning 12 kilometre ridge has long been a sought after summer and winter tick for many climbers. It's a complicated climb involving hard climbing and multiple abseils. Usedine soloed the route and has previously completed it in summer and winter. So really cool. Uh, And this sort of debate about whether it is a speed record is just because there isn't a sort of start line, finish line sort of situation with this. And because there's so many peaks and some people uh, abseil it or down climb bits of it, but um, whatever it is, it's pretty cool. Nice. Good weather in Scotland then. Yeah. Was it? Well, I guess, yeah. He said it was good conditions, like cold, but uh, like nice firm snow, which is what you want. Because he tried to do it and he had to wade through snow the last time he was trying. So this Mm -hmm. time was just a lot easier for him, I think. Nice. Mm. All right, two very different circumstances in Spain. John Cardwell has sent La Rambla 9A+. John was there when Margot Hayes and Matty Hong sent the route last year. And after injuring his finger on that last visit, he was desperate to get back and climb the route. La Rambla is the most popular 9A plus in the world. And according to 8A.nu, it's the 22nd ascent of the route. So why is this route so popular? Yeah, I don't know. It's it's been climbed 22 times, uh, which is quite a lot for a 9A+. It's a 9A+, plus. it's been climbed 20, 22 times. Do you think it's like a soft 9A+, plus? Is that why people are doing it? Because it's like, wow, this, this is a fairly easy tick. Uh, I don't know, because I haven't climbed it. But if we read around it, uh, it's basically, yeah. Like So basically, it was, a, it was an 8C in 1994 when Alex Huber first climbed it. Then it was upgraded to a 9A. Then it was extended into a 9A+. Plus. And then Ramon Julia made the first ascent of the extension. Okay. Uh, and then it's since been repeated by pretty much everyone. Why wasn't it? Why was it extended? Uh, I don't know if you know the answer. It could I'm just be. Interested. I think. I think it's just there, but then, was, there was an extension. But stuff like like Mecca, for you know Mecca in the, in uh, Raventor. So there's Mecca and then there's Mecca extension. Yeah. I wonder why they kept. Why they why they kept it? Maybe it's because they only added a plus. It I think now it's just the Rambler is all the way through. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but. Yeah, I don't think it's soft. I think it's like, it's a 9A+. I think it's just a, a matter of circumstance. It's in a really good place. It's, I like the seasons obviously do really well well mm. for it, like in winter and stuff like that. And people like going there, working it in groups. So like Matty Hong and Margot Hayes sent it last yeah. year. To be fair, like now, obviously I can't climb 9A+, but if I did, yeah. I'd want to tick it because everyone's ticked it. You know what I mean? It's, it's just a, like, it's I'd, classic I'd want to join that club. I just want to be like, yeah, I've done the Rambler. Yeah, maybe that's, maybe that's something to work towards. The Rambler. Mm. I'll get on it. What are you at, what are you at right now? Um, just for everybody, because everybody's always worried about you and your shoulder and stuff and your recovery. I don't want to talk about my time in grade right now. Why not? Like 7B, seven, seven 7B+. Seven that's pretty, Working that's seven pretty good. It's all right. You happy with that? No. Let's move on. Uh, let's move on to uh, alpine climbing. <laughs> I'm gonna work. I am gonna work at it. I've got some goals. I don't want I to think. I that. think they deserve a bit of an update. Every I day. would like to aim for AA by the end of the summer. Wow! <sighs> you heard it here first. That is news. That's why I was trying to get out of you. That's that's actual news. We have enough said. Let's that's move the on. Title of the Let's video. move on <laughs> to David Lama's ascent. Uh, David is one of my favourite alpinists. He's like a hero of mine, and he's just put up a new route in the Balasatel. Valsatel. Valsatel? Valsatel. I tried to be French, but it's Austrian. But it's Austrian. In the Austrian Valley. This new 800 meter line has been graded M6 slash A2. David has attempted the line twice previously, but he's bailed out due to the difficulties and ice fall on the route. He teamed up with Peter Mulberger and after camping at the base of the wall, completed the climb in a day. So this is one of David's favorite valleys. He's been there a lot. He's put up a lot of first ascents. He's soloed a few routes up there. Um, and yeah, I just think he's awesome. That's why I wanted to talk about it. That's where he's from, isn't it? Uh, or Austria. Is it Valsatel? Is that his uh, local, local Swiss, valley? Isn't he? No, no, Lama? he's Austrian. Is he? Yeah. Always thought he was Swiss. That's <laughs> it. Uh, what's next? Uh, uh, shrimps? Uh, no, it's you. <laughs> it's you. It's French. Uh, oh yeah, of course. Sorry. So French nationals took place at the weekend, and the winners were Manu Cornu in the men's and Fanny Gilbert yes. in the females. 
bit, bit of a star-studded uh, cast. Mel Sandoz in the in the females, Guillaume uh, Glerhomonde in the men's, Albon Levier in the men's, and Manu Cornu came out on top. Manu Cornu is of course kind of thought of as the best boulderer in France at the moment. Been doing really well in the World Cup scene and if you do want to know a little bit more about him and how he gets ready for competition day, Really Vatical did a little thing with him uh, in a competition like a couple of weeks ago and just followed him around all day and he won that competition as well. Sorry, spoiler alert. Uh, but it's a really good version, so we'll, we'll stick the link in the copy below. Uh, okay, next up. It's the 9B counter, right? Mm-hmm. You got, got anything? No. No. ANU, no. Planet Mountain, no. UKIP, no. UKIP, no. UKIP. Nothing to add. Events? So, yeah, let's talk about events. Um, we have a crazy, crazy schedule in the next two weeks. Um, you do. I, yeah, I do. You're actually chilling here, aren't you? Yeah. Are you going to miss out on me a little bit? Miss out on miss you. Miss me. <laughs> I'm going to miss out on you, yeah. Uh, so I'm off to Sheffield tomorrow. We've got a few secret things filming first. We've got three days of filming lined up. Uh, highlights include... A German. An Is Englishman, no, an Irishman. Not a German. Okay. It includes... Could be. Molly Tosson Smith. Ooh. It includes Tom Randall. I thought it was a secret. Yeah, but I'm not saying what we're doing. Anyway, and there's other things. But uh, yeah, so that's going to be happening next couple of days. And then it's Quiff. It is Quiff. It's been a year since Quiff. Quiff is back. It's, it's, if you don't know what Quiff is, it's a massive bouldering competition in what the climbing works. What does Quiff stand for? Of the Climbing Works International Festival. It's a big bouldering competition and there's some huge names coming. So the, basically the whole German team is there. So that's Alex Magos, obviously, Jan Hoyer, mm -hmm. uh, Chris Hankel, Hankel, Hank, Hank, Hankel. Loads of Germans. Um, uh, Kaiser, Kaiser Go, Gojin? Kaiser. Uh, from Sweden? Yes. No, the woman we at uh, the um, La Sportiva, Legends. Sasa Gecko. Sasa Gecko. Sorry, everyone. Uh, she's going to be there. Mm -hmm. uh, Melissa Lenev is going to be defending her title. So it's it's just nice. this star-studded bouldering competition, and we will be there all weekend. So that's coming up. Then I jumped straight on a plane, uh, and we're going to Spain to film with a company called Rockbusters, which run these sort of classes, uh, like three-day workshops, with Adam Ondra. And we're going to be filming with the main man himself. Adam Ondra. I almost thought we weren't going to talk about him in today's show, but we are. We are. Adam Ondra. I'm going to bring us some egg. <clears throat> It'll be fine. I'll be cool. Uh, and then we're going to go to, then I meet you again. Then we hook up, so to speak. Sorry, my phone went beep. Then you and me hook up. Computer. Yeah. In Frankfurt for Studio some Block. For some Frankfurters and another bouldering competition. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's Studio Block next, Masters. Yeah, which is going to be. Uh, also, stu uh, about Studio Block Masters, registration is open. So if you're around the Frankfurt area or the Germany area. Can I enter? You can enter. Uh, you can enter. So. We'll put the link in the description below as well for that. Another thing I want to talk about really quick, that's going to be very exciting. I'm excited about that. Super excited. Yeah. So I'm going to have a nice little break. From me. Yeah. And then we're going to come back together all fresh. I'm not in the office for again. 15 days. Really? Yeah. Enjoy, man. I, it's like a big holiday. It is. Uh, and I really want to quickly talk about, and I'm going to get my computer for this because it's a bit of a blurb. Anyway, the No Man's Land Film Festival uh, is coming to Edinburgh. Kicking off their third year of operations, No Man's Land Film Festival is breaking down national and international borders with their 2017 and 18 tour, aiming to become an international voice for women in adventure. Okay, so that's the 15th of March, No Man's Land Film Festival. It looks super good. So if you're in Edinburgh area and you want to have a good night and watch some good quality films, head to the, direct, the description that is in the description. The description of where the place is is in the description below. Nice. Uh, it is International Women's Day today, in fact, uh, and all this week to celebrate that, we've been running a competition on Instagram. Um, the competition, all you need to do is find the picture that has a hashtag that looks so epic on it. Uh, it's on the Epic TV climbing Instagram, the Epic TV shop Instagram, I think the Epic TV Italia one as well. So find us on Instagram. And all you need to do is tag a girl who you climb with or you know, tag them and explain why you think they're just generally badass basically. Uh, there's prizes to be won, so there's a 50 euro voucher for the person who tags and the tagger. So uh, yeah, head over to Instagram, get tagging and let us know who you think is awesome. Do your hashtag thing. Hashtag. No, the other one. That's it. Oh really? Yeah. Hashtag. Hashtag. That's it for the new show. Thank you for putting up with our weird rambling ways. See you next week. Hashtag bye. Bye.